Freaky Table is brought to you by Nikki Hits Beauty Studio, Bona Musadi, Duala, and Jungle Hawk, Boya. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to Freaky Table. It's your girl Joan Gomba, Yana Jr. is in the building as well as Kwa Elonge and we are here to discuss music in Cameroon. And speaking about music in Cameroon, one name stands out, Mr. Leo and his new direction with his music career. I mean, everyone is talking about it, including the fans and social media is buzzing with his new video that is out entitled JJ. Now, uh, I think fans are a little bit confused with that one. It's a curse and a blessing, and we're here to discuss about that. Guys, welcome. Thank you. You look amazing in your... Okay. It looks made in Cameroon. Wow, wait, why are you guys wearing the same hat? It looks it's like a I'm, revolution. Oluwa is involved. One. Oluwa is involved. Oh, the Dan Lord Shades. is involved. No, Oluwa is involved. Oluwa is involved. I thought Oluwa is God yeah, in, in Yoruba. Yeah, it's not for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is beautiful. He gifted this to me. Oh, oh! Shout out to Tino. Oh, just, you look, you look great. You look great in it, though. It looks, it looks made in Cameroon. Amazing. Made in Cameroon. This and this, so yeah. 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 This is Dan made sheets. in Cameroon. My little bow ties by EB Creations. Okay. In <laughs> Why is it so <laughs> what does excite you? You remember Lizzo's yeah. bag at the at the Grammys? It was very tiny with Chanel. Anyway, yeah. so welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank They're you. looking good. I like this look. I like yeah. it. I like she looks. Look. looks um, yes. okay. it looks. Yeah. Almost. Almost. It looks like something I would put together for you. <laughs> we are going you, you to. Don't, you don't do that, bro. Well. We are yeah. definitely going to continue. Uh, Mr. Leo has dropped a new video. Yeah, yeah. For the single JJ, and mm. everyone is definitely talking about it, good or bad, I don't know. But the fans are having very, you know, mixed feelings about this one. They don't know his new direction, where he's headed, the future of his music career. Mm -hmm. Is he at the, on the right path or not? Is he, is a Grammy fever around his new <laughs> project? I don't know what is happening with him, but, you know, great video, by the way, shot by, um, directed by Anne Rin and Dr. Ken Stevens. And uh, what do you guys think? Is it good, bad, yeah, not I, good? I think, I think the, the video, artistically, it's really good. Um, in terms of, um, it's the, the artistic, the creative vision it's properly realized yeah so what we're going for artistically which is um depicting um stereotypes yeah of traditional african society especially western stereotypes of what traditional african society should be mm. and in some sense even what they consider to be modern modern african society um, that it fulfills that thoroughly um it's it's it's, it's a video that is soaked in a lot of symbolism um, so as, as a work of art, I think it's a very good video. Um, in terms of the, the vocals, I think Mr. Liu, it's, it's not a stretch for him. Yeah. I mean, we know Mr. Liu. It's can, what we expect of Mr. Liu. He can sing. Like, yeah, yeah he, can, he, can, he actually can sing. And um, listening to him, it, it was very, I mean, you know how a song can be good, can really feel good, but it still leaves you incomplete mm -hmm. in terms of, um, so it's not fulfilling, <laughs> or, or the the weight of it. I don't know whether it's our perception of who Mr. Liu as an artist is. Or was? <laughs> or what he is. So it makes it such a way. It's a little bit unsettling. Mm. Like in terms of well, this new direction, you know, it's so sudden. Mm -hmm. um, what I know is artists generally have forms of expressions that they want to put out, which is usually not necessarily the mainstream thing that they put out in order mm -hmm. to get to gain commercial success. But there is always a time of, you know, letting the fans mm -hmm. lead into the new version. Mm -hmm. But this is it's like so just a sharp like turn. boom yeah. your face. It's like it's such a, a sharp turn that you you really Really Yana, Yana does it hurt because I mean people 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 watch he yeah, just spoke about sharp so I just thought of hurt um so when okay. you when he dropped okay, that song I mean this is really not the first time Mr. Yeah. Liu is dropping a song that is so you Out know Africanized yeah. you understand he had Zege Zege that was the last project yeah. he did with Alpha Beta Records before he left mm -hmm. um 2020 and then he now has JJ which clearly is sending out a message to all the fans and say this is the this is the new sound that I'm on yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. 
is it <coughs> is it you want to follow Mr. Leo on this new sound or you want him to be, you know, <laughs> return to that pop sound that he, you know, the the patu kind of sound? I I, I <coughs> generally the the, the um the test of every artist's artistry and how um, great they are is how much they reinvent themselves, how much they move on from what they are known for, and how much they appeal to new crowds mm. and also show how dynamic they are. And I think sing Zege Zege, which, which people could not quite understand because Mr. Leo was, was talking about things which he did not really represent out of his music. Because mm. if, if you're talking about things in your music, you should be able to leave them in a way which can connect the fans and this is what we talk about contents out of the music itself but then i i from to your question about if i i, I am support of this direction if i buy the idea I, I i just want to see where he's going with it but right now i think he's trying to go back home because if you, if you notice his last his few his last um three songs have been rooted in in um, um and in his native um tongue mm -hmm. trying to really portray and celebrate the soul people it's, mm -hmm. yeah so I, I think he, he has he has an idea which is going back home and then doing original music in quotes, mm -hmm. you know, that reflects the pessimist value. Uh, about the song JJ, I, I like Elonga talked about it, it, it examined the whole stereotypical um, idea of Africa. It's an it's a nice song, but then it's 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 I, I don't it's difficult to really follow the story properly mm -hmm. of what he's trying to say in the song, mm -hmm. right? But I think vocally, yes, it, it, it stands out. But then, the, is this something he, he he can obviously build on and shoot for the stars? Mm -hmm. Yes, I think he can because Mr. Leo. But then now he has to match that with the the the, 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 the his social his, his life on social media. Mm -hmm. What what his what he stands for? Because now you don't know what Mr. Leo stands for, right? Mm -hmm. And. That if, if if he has to represent something in his music without standing for something out of his music, this inconsistent it's inconsistent. Yeah. And that so you always cannot leaves the you. You cannot relate the personality okay. with the music. You understand? Right. I'm not saying you should go wear tiger office and everything. You know, I mean that that's that's like two thousand and something. But then it's the it's how you want to tell it. If you're telling the story, it's not just in music. It's mm. the content that follows. Your you lifestyle. Know, the lifestyle. The content, the, the the experiences you want to give people, the things you're talking about. Take, pick a stand if you want to revolutionize how we. Africans or Cameroonians per se, you know, uh, push, put our music, then take a stand and say, this is what you want to do. Like what Eddie Ledre is doing. Mm -hmm. He stands for um, Neo Makosa. Yeah. So you can see that in his content, in the way he, he tries to talk about Makosa, even in, on, on online, besides music, it's about talking about what can be done with Neo Makosa. Mm -hmm. So I expect that from him. And with Asabe too, Asabe was more pop, but he still had this strong you know, um, um, uh, somebody um, had his, language. Had his, um, yeah. I think there was, there was a couple of things in the video that I saw, which really I laughed about. Um, um, the fact that you know, it, I think it, there was a, there was a, a trend on Twitter about women um, uh, keeping hair. You know, uh, they could grow their hair, yeah. they could grow their hair, their pubic hair, yeah. and that's okay. <clears throat> Uh, which I, 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 on Twitter, I, I remember I, I stood against that idea. It's like this is about hygiene. This is not mm -hmm. about gender. Um, so in the Asabe video, I saw him put portray that like the, the girls were having like black things yeah. under their armpits and then black around their bikini, their stuff. And I was like, no, I don't think I stood it. Uh, but I love the song. Yeah, I mean, it's, I it's, did it's, love it's the a song. typical club song. It's, yeah. a, it's a pop song, which is a typical Leo yeah. that we knew. But, you know, this mm -hmm. new, this new. By, by the way, the fans are not are not so <laughs> pleased. Um, you know, the fans have been following him since like 2015. With the jamais jamais and then part two and then and this one they are not really they are not quite understanding what he's saying or where he's going because by like, the way jj means different yes and in this in the whole song he's trying to say africa is different but unique uh, but powerful together mm -hmm. yeah you know that's what the whole song is about it's, see, you know, it's back to what longer say it just comes to your face there's no see if you're releasing something there should be some storytelling that comes before it that prepares them mentally and then can really make a transition from the old you to the new you. There wasn't that, that the reason for Zege Zege, the last No, I, 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 let me just I'm say this. I, I don't think that, um, I don't think visually, mm -hmm. um, um, Zege Zege might have depicted elements of it was mental perceived, slavery and slavery perceived slavery. mental slavery and mm -hmm. African reality. Mm -hmm. um, but the song itself, Still had the pop feel. Yeah. 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 So there were underlying factors that would make you know this is a Mr. Leo song. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not like it, it was a complete U-turn. Of course, you could see a 
speed of movement. Mm -hmm. It is true that you can do you, he, he, I don't know whether he's moving in terms of theme. Well, the guy might say, okay, he's moved from singing love songs and to songs more, about suffering to, to more to songs to about more con uh, solar more, consciousness yeah, and African yeah. consciousness. Mm -hmm. Yes, that makes sense in terms of the visual appeal. Um, but with 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 um, J is it JJ or JJ? JJ, JJ yeah. it, it's 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 from the from even the vocal delivery and everything. You see the folkloric elements yeah, of many African um, genres brought together from the 1980s, 1970s. He uses um, the world of guitar and all of this this instrument. So mm -hmm. it's it's the arrangement and all of it that makes it feel different. Mm -hmm. It's it's not that Mr. Liu is different. Luckily, let me say this. Okay. I don't think that Mr. Lou is doing this song because he wants a new artistic direction. I think okay. it's commercial. Okay, not to, to, to get, not, to, get not not to get No. Well, okay, commercial. that is one. Yeah, but okay. not necessarily get it from fans. The Mr. Liu is championing for conservation of nature with WWF. Mm -hmm. right. And I think that is a strategic move. I don't think it's really artistic. Are you assuming that? Or that's no, I fact? think that it's, it's, not a, it's not a fact, but I think it's something that can be proven. Okay. That I've seen him do work with, with, with the WWF, okay. and I feel that this is a project mm -hmm. to shine a light on conservation and all of that. So all of what he's doing is to push that direction. Right. Where he can get okay, but do, do, does that do, can you can you can can that be reflected in the lyrics of the song? Yes, it, I mean I don't listen, I don't I don't understand band so I <laughs> didn't so so yes so. I don't understand it but I'm talking about the visual yeah the visual element okay the so, sound so, so. that I think that Mr. Liu's album would not necessarily have these elements were he not partnered with W W. Right. Okay. That, that's interesting. I mean, that, I'm that's knowing that this somebody who lost an endorsement deal with with Idol because of how he. Yeah. So really now he's taking, so maybe he's taking this serious. Seriously. But really, I'm I'm really trying to. I just feel like all of them who are there, who are part of that project, um, must have tasks that to fulfill to 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 show some level of commitment to yeah. drive through their art. Mm -hmm. This thing, I do not because it, it 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 will be quite strange to think that Mr. Liu will make this type of so, new turn. Yeah, you know, artistically, like just make it. I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I understand the Grammy fever. Yeah, I, I, think, I, I think it's been coming. I think you know why. And I think that would be a trap. On this music. <laughs> <laughs> just go, because music can actually feel music can actually feel good. I mean, Burner okay. Boy does good music. Yeah. And Whis Whiskey does good music. You don't have to bring this jungle fight version. The African, of, of African, 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 African uh, it's not even it's typical of Africa. African, it's, it's stereotypical. Exceptional, it's, exceptional, it's, it's stereotypical. Yeah. You know, Africa, Africa should not be reduced to to, 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 to tribal marks. Yeah, and, 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 and bare soil and, and, and bare foot, and like salt, like, like, and... like it, I think it, we move past that. Yeah. So I, I, this this image of the jungification of Africa, um, it's something that will appeal to Western troops about Africa and foreign troops about Africa, but it's perception really and mm -hmm. what they want to push out. But but it, it's a huge disfavor if you think that that's African music. But yeah, now quickly before you before you go, I mean talking about coming from what he's saying, yeah. you think that if he continues on this route, mm -hmm. he could be heading for a Grammy nomination, <sighs> given the fact that the Western world perceives Africa in the, the light that he's trying to sh you know in showing in his video. He, 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 could, he could miss it because if it's not consistent with in terms of the thing is see it's about. It, it, they don't just award. They don't just award I'm music. Grammy, Grammys for what? Exactly. Like for what? Because like, I'm, I'm what, just, I'm what saying is in terms of the, the category, which category? Global, 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 global music. World, global music. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. What I what I think is, if Mr. Leo is consistent with this, and matches that with strong storytelling, right? Stand up for something because I I I sort of feel like we are in the age of activism. Yeah. activism right where people are standing up for something so if people are standing up for different causes that 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 that, that are very particular to their life to yeah. their environment to their to their culture so if it stands for something and reflects that in his music it opens up a discussion not for africa but for, for cameroonian music and culture mm -hmm. right and then that can now start raising questions and how deep his music becomes because in yeah, the, the, the question the yeah. question that happens yeah uh mr Lee has been has not been here for too long i mean we yeah. talk about him like he's been He's been yeah, like Richard the reason why we can talk about him in this way is yeah. because Mr. Liu is, is a hit maker. 
Yes. Yeah. And he's been very consistent. Um, I think the reason why he became slow was because he sounded repetitive. Yeah. So and it was also, also, also making, it, making the transition from Alpha Beta Records to his own thing. No, even within Alpha Beta Records, the last set of songs that he was releasing became like if you, if you feel this overwhelming sense of deja vu, like the, it the became mundane, mundane in, in the way it was, it was almost flat. Yeah. In the way it was. So which, which is why, you, which is why I can understand rebranding. Yes. But the question I'm asking is, is is so Mr. Liu has been here for. Five, five years, yeah, six about, years, about. about five years. If, if you take out the period of hiatus, it's about four. Yeah. His fan base. What is the age group of his? That's the thing. I have a problem with his fan base because I, I mean, if you grow, it's like it's like Justin Bieber's fans. Um, we, we practically grew up with him, like by the, 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 the age of the internet. But yeah, we're well, the, well, the, the average well. age of a Mr. 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 Lufa. Lufa. I think the demographic. I, 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 like, I will not say that. I'll not, I'll not really put age. I'll put um, uh, people who appear to a certain kind of. Mm -hmm. idea and, and perception and um, lifestyle i think people were people were deep in love because that's that's been his music mm. but i'm suffering what's wrong this guy no i mean like a yeah. lot of the songs no, that yeah it's not demographic for mr the leo thing is, right no if you want to be if you want to be because what what i'm seeing is the leo doing now except yeah. I mean, he hasn't given out a press release to explain really so i really i'm not i cannot tap into his head mm -hmm. but what I'm seeing him, the, the direction that he's taking yeah. is towards Richard Bona, the, 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 the Char Charlotte Dipanda, this yeah. kind of deep music, which is, if no, hold on, Richard Bona, Charlotte Dipanda, Manu Dibango, yeah. all of these people, that's their kind of music. They've been doing this for years. But it takes what it, and it just, starts somewhere, it, right? You know, it has yeah. to, it has to. And look at their ages. Look at the ages of these people. Mm -hmm. Mr. Leo is a young man, right? He mm -hmm. has his lifestyle that we see, like we see him on perhaps on the so day. He, of so what you're not saying is true that he might not be able to even sustain. That's the thing. I'm afraid the kind that he of might lifestyle be able that will depict to, this this music. This kind of which means which, which what, 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 what can happen is he brings a fresh perspective to that song, like what Dre Boy is doing. He cannot sustain it with the lifestyle. No, that's, that's that's I'm saying I'm suggesting because because right now the see the thing is, John, if if for example, right. You say if you look at Adele's music, yeah, it's reflected in her lifestyle. Exactly. You look at uh, Beyonce's uh, uh, music, Beyonce's reflecting her lifestyle, yeah. in her lifestyle, right? And you can almost see the way the fans, the fans and that music can be. I mean, there's this thing you say. Um, Bonaboy makes music for the people in the streets. Like, I'm just I'm, rather no, Bonaboy, na, no, ma, no na, Nara Mali. Nara Mali makes people music in the streets. Yeah, Bonaboy remodeled um, Afrobeat from Fela yes. and brought it to the new generation. But the sound was was very pop, was very. That's what I'm saying. That what Mr. Liu can do is re reinvent that sound or make sound. it just make it fresh. The sound he's trying to go for, which is what we are. I'm saying what I see from his music, right? Based from Zege Zege, Asabe, but now JJ JJ is almost almost another level. Right, is him trying to go back I don't and sing? I, I think that I think so, the, the difference is yeah. that with Asabe and Zege Zege, it was more pop. It's it the the music, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the music itself is is, is Mr. Liu. Yes, so there is no there is not much evolution in in the sound. There is growth. Yes, no no much not this type of three sixty yeah. change. Mm -hmm. With 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 this other one, what uh, uh, Leonard? Is doing. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a first name basis. Yes. <laughs> what Lena from you yeah. is doing mm. is that it's it's the sound itself. I'm mm. talking about the sonic elements, the arrangement, mm. all of these things. They are the instrumentation, engineering, mm. all of it. It's it's completely different. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's not what we know of him. Do you say, do you think it's experimental? I I think that it's 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 experimental. It looks like you're saying that it's for a project. I, I, I think it's for a project. Which 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 yeah, which 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 when I look at Mr. Lee, I look at Mr. Lee as somebody who, who is very versatile. He can do that. But if he were supposed to do it, he would do it the way other artists, mm -hmm. real artists like Bonner Boy, Whiskey, and Beyonce would do it. Which is, since he's sampling elements of, um, of, the, of, past. of, of the past, he would integrate it with, the his, with, contempor with the contemporary feel, like bits of that and that's why you make it something original that's yeah, yeah because i mean that's not, not just yeah, go and yeah. bring a blueprint of 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 wall of music <laughs> yeah that's wall of music now you're not just bring it like that and just put it without giving a touch without, 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 without putting no. a touch i'm saying that it's 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 
really rich room hmm. in every sense without any feel of any form of contemporariness in it and i don't think i think mr louis is somebody who is able to make things contemporary i think that the, the, the artistic vision was that they were looking at okay I, I see the video and i see fire burning and i see all of these things and i'm like okay it's about happened. environment mm -hmm. this is an environmental project this is a project on on, on conservation mm -hmm. People might say that I'm being sane, but I'm telling you, it will come out. <laughs> okay, no, okay, no, okay, you're saying all of this, right? Which, yeah. which, which, okay, fine, that's the argument you're making. But then my question is, <clears throat> in all of what he's doing right now, yeah, we don't really see that reflected in what he's doing out of the music. Because if you're doing something for the WWF, it doesn't have to happen only in your music. Yes. We have to see you standing for this thing, advocating for this you thing. You know, for Mr. Leo now. <laughs> Are you not seeing Mr. Leo and Laura Onyama and this other No, no, okay. To, besides, going, no, going okay, she no, okay. no, I see that. I mean, we take the location. <laughs> take the location. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, Are you a madman? No, like, no, I see that. I see that because it's on the news. It's no, on the no, news. Like, no. even is see. Elonge, take all of that out, right? Yes, in your way. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, but guys, yes. the, the, the director of that video, yeah. right? Anyway, I know that this this argument came online, and he yeah. had to say something, yeah. and he said that um, behind the scenes that that Leo had always wanted to do this kind of music. Yeah. Even, this, even when he was at I mean, Alpha Beta Records, from Zege, Zege, even know. when he was at, at Alpha Beta Records, right? Yeah. Um, he's always wanted to do this kind of music, sound this way. Okay. So wait, this way. wait. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? So, I mean, I mean, I'm looking at a video. I'm seeing Kunta Kin take it all. I mean, Salate like, seems like a like, very experimental. Yeah, design. yeah. Salate would do. Would, would maybe. Do. Or maybe, maybe he also knows the business part. Which who? Salate and he saw the commercial potential of Leo going pop and not just. <laughs> I see. I see. Salate is a jealous boy. No, I'm saying that yeah, Salate, <laughs> Salate himself in his music can yeah, be very experimental. experimental yeah, I know. Yeah, but but guys, but stuff. guys, we've seen these transitions happen in music history. I mean, in maybe maybe Salate wanted to do it his own way. We've had we've yeah. seen Brian. Brian does this kind of deep rooted Yoruba kind of music. you know music, and he lives that way. Based no, niche music. Yeah. yeah, and then yeah. we saw Taylor Swift as well. Taylor Swift, you know, Swift. <laughs> yeah, but, but, she but, shifted but, slowly. From, yeah, from but it's, no, it's, it's, it's not quick. I agree right? with you both. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying that Mr. Leo's sudden change or sudden change in sound was a bit, you know, it's took a me off that. Okay, John, it could still, it could still be have... quick, right? It could still be quick, but then after that, we are seeing elements that. But he's been doing, you're saying that it's a project, but the sound. No, that, the, 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 the... Inform on that. What? Like what? What? Okay. This is a question I want to ask you. What is a you talk about him doing a retro sound, right? Yes. And she make, is making the argument from what the direct one of the, the, the directors um, um, of the video of the video, the creative director said is that this is what Mr. Lee has always wanted to do. Mm -hmm. If he's wanted to o always do this and something which he knows can take him far, then we should be able to see those elements out of the music. At least that, that prepared I am, the fans. That's what I'm saying, which is what I don't see. Vis exactly. Listen, visually, yes, I can see how elements of um, um, slavery mm -hmm. and black suffering yeah. and elements those those elements are integrated in the visual aspects of it yes. but that's not the sound yes it is yes, not it's that's not. not the sound it's not. so it's not i mean people will not be will not be jarred by mr Liu's new music mm -hmm. if it, it had the sound that we're used to even if you had a video about nature nature and conservation True. is that the, the underlying sound is it's not just it's not experimental in the sense of that it's not new Mm -hmm. But that it's not fresh enough. It's no, it's not fresh. It's, it's not. not really, that's what they, yeah. It's fresh from the angle of it's Mr. Liu you, doing this. Yeah. But that there is there is no reimagining of, of that sound. Mm -hmm. That sound <clears throat> is a sound that you yourself can feel. You know, you know this sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, you've heard. I mean, this. from Senegal, you've heard you the from the from before. Yeah. So I I don't think that that's 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 a direction. If it's a direction that he wants to take, there is still so much. That, that that he has to do for us to actually believe it. Yeah. Because you've not seen anything like that happen yeah. with his music that will make us to think that this is a route that was taken. So I actually think that why I don't think that Adorin is telling his, his line, um, I think he must have been sold to him that way. That, well, so, this, is so, so, of, this is the type of music that would I, would, I would like to do. I would so have was, was that I would just Anorin on the project? It, it would have been because Anorin is a very, very artistic he yeah, is. Sorry, with time. Yes, and he's very, very work. artistic. Yeah. Anorin will probably be the best director to use for a project that is very, very artistic. He, mm -hmm. I, I would doubt if you use Anorin for, for a commercial song by Kusi. Like, mm -hmm. 
you you start seeing pregnant women struggling to born to give birth to give birth in the like like he's very artistic like the type of director that you take too seriously yeah you know so he would deliver on that type of project yeah but i don't think that i know he's whimsical i don't think that he's 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 urban like that yeah so mr liu can use him i also think that they've been working together on nature and conservation together i don't think that i know that okay Okay. that as Mr. Leo has been going along, they have been visiting visiting uh, um, bushes. <laughs> bushes, in the, bushes. In, in the east and forest and all of these places. Yeah. Yeah. That angering has been there. They, it's, a, it's a journey. Now they might even produce this as a project. I still do not believe that that's the route. That but the one thing doing. we need to know is a living. I'm so telling you, he's, on a, he's making that point. No, I get that. Point, but yes. he's saying that he doesn't believe that that's the route that Mr. Leo should take. Musically. One thing, one thing we need to, we need to understand. So you want Mr. Leo to get back to his pop sound after you know after this project? No, I, I think that if Mr. Leo wants to do do music which is experimental and retro that's yeah. fine we've seen we've seen artists like um dua lipa we've seen with the weekend yeah to bring back r and yeah. but it, it, it is Bruno a Mas. bit of contemporariness yes. that they bring it there that makes it original yes and you can see what flavor did with, Mar- with it, it, that, that's the thing it yeah. is it is the bits of origin if you if you listen to 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 sango ed oh, it, it's not like sango ed is doing music that has not been done before yeah it's, but it's but fresh there, it's there, is, there is this freshness in the in the angle in the sound in the integration of different elements of both contemporary and the time period in which he's sampling you see that he has studied it there is a difference between topic studying and just Taking a blueprint and delivering the same way on yeah. it, you know, yeah. that's the thing. I don't see any modernity in in that in the sound that makes it feel like okay, this is Mr. Liu yeah. pushing the sound yeah. and creating something that one might deem as original. I, it's I also what it's also exactly what these people are doing. The only thing that he did not add in that sound is his kolan, <laughs> that black kolan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think exactly what these people are doing, Chinjong Chinjong, where they're taking house music and adding a lot of um, 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 basic exactly. elements. Exactly. You get it right. Now you get the point. Now you get yeah, the point. No, I, I've always yeah. got to the point. You this, have this, <laughs> <laughs> you are very foolish boy. But this is the thing. I, I, I think one thing we one thing we've not examined here and looked at Troy to understand exactly what Mr. Lee was trying to do there, besides the song title, which is different, is the lyrical content. Because that is going to inf- inform a lot of what the music is really about. If we can understand the lyrical content, the Africa, the, Africa, Africa is different. Is different. Yes, I'm talking about the, the, the lyrical content but itself. We are great. Yes. But we're so, great, so, so we're, now, we're, you know, but Africa has always been different. It's not like yeah, every other content. Every, every other content so, is different. But so now the, so if 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 maybe it's highlighting the difference. With, with with those with those thoughts and everything, that's not the way we yeah. dress. I, I'm we? saying I'm saying yeah. That's why we, we just from the start I yeah. said you know it, it's it's. I have a friend who says this well. Um, when it's about being, uh, it's Howard, right? This mm. is the uh, trauma trafficking. <laughs> Then Africa is always diffi- is always depicted in in lights of, in bad taste. Yeah. So it is crying children. It is um, running Basically animals. Suffering porn, right? That, yeah. That Poverty you porn. you don't you don't see elements of contemporary Africa when when for for it to be considered artistic. Yeah. That for for something which is an African delivery to be considered artistic, no, we must go into the jungles back. We must start having tribal marks and start moving on red soil mm-hmm. for it to be, con- 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 to be considered. Artistic, mm-hmm. but that's not it. I mean, we are here. Supposedly, somebody was supposed to do a video which is about contemporary commentary. Would the person start going to the park where they were using swords? Uh, no, I mean, like, in terms of like, 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 okay, and say that, oh, that's Africa. No, that's not it. Africa, I mean, th- there are elements there, yeah. and there are societies mm-hmm. that, 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 that I, I just have a, a problem yeah. with it because immediately that thing is given. A Grammy, even then, it becomes that because that's it depicted, depicted Africa, Africa correctly. Oh, that would be good. That, 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 and that, 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 just reinforce the stereotypes. We, yeah. we didn't have Black Panther, Wakanda, or nothing. Like we believed in that future. Yeah. Like someone should not stop taking I, me I, back. I, I, I like Mr. Leo. I do. I like. I, I think all of us like him. Some I, of the like best male I like. Vocalist his, I, I actually think that he can pull this off. He can, and he um, did. But he can pull it off not by, not by fetishizing Africa, um, not by turning into into a jungle. Um, that if he wants to talk about conservation, he can do he can do that. That if he wants to bring out a sound that is unique, he can do that by integrating the elements that he wants to. Mm-hmm. But as a leader, he should know. He should do it in a way that does not create stereotypes of Africa first, mm-hmm. and secondly, that the path that he's going now yeah. is really sudden, which brings us to the element of how Mr. Liu has always been marketed, yeah, and always been branded. Mm-hmm. Even if Mr. Liu wanted to take this part of getting into the into doing this music and all this, 
why not I hope people no, why not just you know, lead people into it. Why just it's, it's like, like yeah, no, no, exactly what I think. I think everything we all say is from like that. Perspectives, yeah, yeah. You know, and then we. So the hope is that we'll grow into it. Apparently, the, the, the thing is okay. Now let, she's here already, right? What what we what we need to see now is how he's he's, he's taking us to after he, after year. You understand? Yeah. Hmm? I'm saying that. Like I understand that music. It's always music that's it's legend. Like, it's for, for legend. People have stayed in the game for too long. I feel like he's three years in the, in the music business, three or four. Yeah, it's but no, but, five, five, but five. The, the, the thing is, in, in in the music business, you always have to reinvent you have yourself. To reinvent. I understand. Yeah. He has to reinvent himself. I just, but I just reinvention is very sudden. I think that's what no, okay, now, is that. Now we're here yeah, already. But my, my issue is how it takes us from here. I don't think the elements. I don't think that Mr. Liu would would go exactly like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that. With, with with the feedback that he's getting, yeah. he he needs to now look at how he can integrate these elements. I think that if there's one artist that can really pull off sampling this age, the age which he's using and contemporary, it's really Mr. Liu. Yeah. He has a voice, the the, the, the soulfulness and the huskiness mm-hmm. in it can can actually pull off That's that sound. True. But the fact is that I don't think that it augurs well for for now. Yeah. And even, even the right for the business, eh? Yeah, I've always thought that how but this video, kind of songs get you money. No, you get money from WWF. I, I am, I am betting on that. That Mr. Liu yeah. would use that. That's a typical wax day move. Yeah, yeah here we go. Smart, yeah, that's I'm that's telling you, yeah. that's yeah. smart. And all of them are members of yeah, that yeah. WWF. All right, guys. Um, it's WWF thing okay. that I think that he's going. And it's not WWF. No, I don't. It's not like it's not like clarification. You want to buy? No, clarification. It's not necessarily that WWF. Sponsoring that, but it's something to attract but them. that it is possible that with his work with mm-hmm. WWF, that that is why he gets into this. Okay, he's one of the ambassadors. He's one of the ambassadors. Which, which, which would be interesting because of, of, of how so that, that he's at least, at least one person in that group is doing something. He's doing something <laughs> that reflects the organization. Oh my god, um, and guys. Um, yeah. so what do you think about Mr. Leo's new direction of music? I mean, he's just dropped a new video. If you haven't watched it, please check it out on YouTube. It's JJ, beautiful, and YouTube, a man. very fantastic. Well done video um, by um, Anurin and Ken Stevens, Dr. Ken Stevens. Please check that video. Tell us what you think, but join the conversation because it's really ongoing. This is what we are talking about here in Cameroon. And for other countries, I know there are artists who have you know, switched um, from their genres or their themes or something. Please join the conversation. What do you think about these artists? Do they make money with these sudden switches? Or what happens to their fan base and, and all of that? What advice can we give these artists? Should Mr. Leo stay on this line of folklore or this kind of deep-rooted African sound? You know, just tell us what you think right down there on the comment section. See you guys soon. Freaky Table is brought to you by Nikki Hit Beauty Studio, Bonamusadi, Duala, and Jungle Hop, Boya. Contact Jungle Studios, which is located at Solidarity Junction, Boya, for all your photography and videography.